Hi, welcome back to ODE. Today I'm doing another unboxing. This is quite light and I think this will be a quick video for my, can, my kind of standard of videos. So, this package came from Spain and it has a Japanese pen inside. I will use my Victorinox knife to open this package and now I will show you what I have here. So, lots of tape and some protective kind of sponge. Okay, open. Sponge or foam. In Portuguese the word is the same, so I'm not sure which is the best word. And here we have yet another protective layer, which is uh, this bubble wrap. And again, another protective layer, which is this little bag. And let's open that also. Okay, and here we have the pen. And as you can see, it is a pocket pen, and yes, it is another Japanese pocket pen. I have a few by now, and this one is very interesting to me. Mostly because it is a sailor, and I didn't have a sailor as a pocket pen yet. And I'm quite happy for having these. So, there are a little scuffs on the cap, but that's normal. It says sailor there, there's nothing on the other side of the, this ring on the cap. This comes out easily. I think it's all in good shape. It posts so smoothly as these pens usually do. And now, let's just take a look at the nib. The nib is very plain on the upside, it has nothing there. Let me check it better. I bought this from eBay and I no longer re remember all the details. And I'm not sure if I can focus that. Okay, it, ha it is a 14 karat gold nib. And in this side, does it say anything? It says Sailor. It's the Sailor logo. So, this is a fun little pen. It will take cartridges, I suppose. Yes, and it came with a cartridge included. So, this is a very nice pen. I'm very uh, anxious to try it because I usually like the Sailor nibs a lot and so I really want to to try this pen to ink it and to use it. So this is the Sailor and just for some kind of comparison I have here also a platinum pen and you if you look at it it's very it's very a similar model and I also have here a Pilot Elite. This is the modern one. The other two are not modern anymore. They are discontinued, but this one is still in production. And you can see they are very similar pens. And if you look at them without noticing things in particular, they may look like variations of the same brand, but they are not. Even these printed brand there, uh, band there, this has Sailor, this has the Platinum logo there, and this one doesn't say Pilot, but it says Elite, and you can see uh, they, they have some similarities, because none of them is a straight band, they all always have some kind of waving there, so it's interesting. And let's uncap the pilot. 
they fit, yes, it fits the frame there. The platinum and the sailor. And yes, there are lots of variations on these ones. Different nibs, different colors, different combinations of clips and everything else. So, you can clearly see these pens belong to the same family of pens. And I'm now very happy because I have uh, at least one example of each of the big three from Japan. Sailor, Platinum and Pilot. And I have to say that this finally makes me very happy. It, it cost me, I would say, a good price. This stuff is always cheaper coming from Japan, much, much cheaper. But when you do the maths and think how much it will cost because of the, the extra postage to here, to Portugal, to the end of Europe, and what it will cost in uh, taxes that I have to pay for this kind of import. Um, sometimes it is better to pay a little more if you are, if you are buy, buying a pen of maybe imagine 60 euros and it in Japan it costs 30 euros. I think it will still be better to buy the, the 60 euros pen here in Europe because inside the European Union, because taxes in Portugal are very high in this kind of stuff. So I'm very, very happy. I think the pen is really of the same style. I'm really happy for having these three. So I guess someday it will be time for some reviews and then maybe for some versus videos where I can compare those pens. So. Thank you a lot for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will be back soon for another video. Bye!